Auto Paint is the driving force between Silhouette's ability to paint across film and video frames at any resolution. Here, we'll introduce you to the Auto Paint workflow to run your paintwork over time and on moving footage. For more in depth training, please be sure to check out our free Getting Started series and the Silhouette Paint user manual. The basics of Auto Paint work like this. Silhouette Paint uses a unique hybrid paint system. It uses raster paint, as opposed to the vector paint systems, which the majority of built-in hosts use. This means that painting on a frame is fast, without the slowdowns often associated with vector paint. Your thousandth stroke is just as fast and responsive as the first, rather like working in Adobe Photoshop. What is unique about Silhouette's paint is that it records each paint stroke you make in the paint history. This contains full information about the tool that's used and what you did with it. This paint history isn't passive like an undo history is. It's saved when the project is closed and available when the project is opened again. I can select any stroke or strokes from any stage of my history and delete them. Silhouette will then rebuild the affected frames without those strokes present. This paint history can be replayed across frames. I simply choose the frame range I want from the drop down menu or type in a custom range, then select the strokes or groups that I want to have painted and play that forwards or backwards. I can then sit back and let Silhouette repeat all those strokes across my frame range. If I'm working on a moving shot, then I can still use Auto Paint. In the Effects Roto module, I can set up one or more layers with unique tracking data. This data is created by any of the three different types of motion tracker that I have available. Straightforward point tracking, Silhouette's planar tracker, or the integrated Mocha planar tracker. When using motion trackers for auto paint, it's a good idea to set up separate layers that track the different elements that you're painting in a shot. For example, the different parts of this face have different relationships with the camera. So I'll set up layers for each of the coplanar elements. One for the cheek, one for under the chin, and one for the neck. If we don't do this, our tracking won't be good enough when we auto paint, and the brush strokes will be prone to slip. This may not be obvious when looking at a single frame, but when the shot's played back, those mistakes become easily apparent. It's also a good workflow habit to create and name your groups in the paint module. Descriptive names keep you focused on the task at hand and make it easier to see what groups need motion tracking when auto painting. To auto paint with motion tracking, I simply choose an appropriate track layer from the drop down menu in Transform. Then I hit the Match Move checkbox in Auto Paint, select my groups as normal, and hit the arrow to paint forwards or backwards. Silhouette Paint will then match move our brush strokes to compensate for the movement in the clip. Silhouette's motion trackers will track different movements, from simple position changes to large perspective changes. This means a good track will create a great looking and most importantly, consistent result, which is imperative for any manual paint task. When paint and touch at work is not done perfectly, the viewer will subconsciously notice the inconsistencies. Learn more about how to avoid inconsistencies in our free deep dive tutorials, including a full breakdown of Silhouette's motion trackers and how to find the best tools for a particular task, including removes or working with skin. For a full rundown on Silhouette Paint features, host compatibility, and to download a free trial, then head over to boriseffects.com. So if we've missed a topic you'd like to see, or you want to see Silhouette Paint tutorials for a different host, then let us know in the comments below. In-depth explanations and tutorials to get you started can be found in the Silhouette Manual. And remember, you can download a free trial of Silhouette Paint from boriseffects.com. <laughs>